So it's just about 2 o'clock and we're going to get started again. Um, this is the uh, afternoon session. My son is obviously going to talk about um, BSD implementations of XCAST 6. The XCAST network has been used in Japan for a number of years now um, by a group that calls themselves the XCAST Fan Club. Uh, it's a multicast protocol that was developed here in Japan, and uh, my son's going to explain. Um, I'm very happy to be here. So, cast. Uh, hey, my son. Switch. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, large part of this agenda is may uh, have a very good knowledge about the XCAST. How many? <laughs> how many? Uh, knows the word XCAST? Okay. Then, how many have experienced her? to join the XCAST video session with your hands up. Okay. Then, uh, in contrast, uh, how many does it never heard the word okay, what the XCAST is with your hand? Okay, two, two people. So, I have to talk to you. <laughs>
how the communities uh, collaborate and uh, what kind of the activities we uh, have, we have, uh, we did, and uh, that includes the, uh, not the operational, but uh, uh, to have an event and the planning and the uh, recordings and the, the promotional, uh, very many variety of such kind of activities. And uh, third of all, uh, this is a very uh, special part of uh, this presentation, I think. Uh, the past presentation, uh, we will uh, very small explanation how the discussed mechanism implemented in the BSD protocol study. Uh, I I will make a much more detailed explanation about that in this third section. And uh, at last we will make a conclusion and uh, uh, I will uh, I will show you the current uh, future direction of the ex and including the uh, much more newer uh, direction in the IRTM, uh, we call it uh, SUN, a scalable adaptive multicast. Okay. First of all, what's the XCAST? Our motto is communication is the best entertainment of, of our lives. Okay. This is communication. <laughs> okay. uh, if you know, uh, if you know the uh, knowledge about the, what's the multicast uh, experiment, uh, you may uh, watch this kind of application. It's very old type of M1 tools. So. Uh, there are uh, many uh, persons uh, from the uh, inside outside Japan, and uh, this is uh, from Akihabara, Izakaya, <laughs> 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 and uh, this this is from Hokkaido, and uh, here you are <laughs> from Nagoya. So uh, so many person is uh, communicating on the. Uh, in the cy cyberspace, and uh, difference from the uh, existing multicast system with this XCAST system is uh, this system is much more easier and much more cheap and much more effective way to uh, transfer and exchange such kind of video information and like audio information. So uh, I will uh, make an explanation how we achieve this communication. Okay. Before that, uh, this, I want to uh, mention about the size of community to make a good communication. So uh, number of communication, a uh, number of members uh, make difference from group to group. The most minimum member of the group is just one. There is no communication by definition, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but several person <laughs> I talk uh, by oneself. So, so but uh, uh, this is uh, out of scope of this <laughs> presentation. So, and the Two person can communicate, so lover can communicate by the phone. So this is very hottest one in the world, but it's uh, is very bit easily become boring. <laughs> so love is over. And <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is because uh, it's a little difficult to keep a relationship and con uh, conversation and the uh, topics is running out easily. But uh, two plus one, the three person, uh, becoming three person, the situation becomes uh, 
drastically, drastically changed. So that's a uh, uh, very many type of the uh, interaction between among them. Yeah. Just hearing out and interrupt and just sleep is a, a kind of type of communication, I think. So uh, that such kind of new perspective becomes uh, introduced uh, larger than three or more uh, very small group. But larger group is not good for the interactive discussion. It's because that's a broad type, broadcast type communication. So several, very small number of the person who shout loudly and other just uh, listening. Uh, just like this situation. I'm very loud. <laughs> and you are listening. So then, the, the communication is the best entertainment. So interaction is very important for our target. Then we focused on small group communication. And uh, a very typical target it is smaller than 16 and 32. And the example is uh, follow further and share the interesting and uh, like a uh, SBSD, Asian BSD conferences, and how many events and uh, a private event or some kind of. But uh, this is the age of the internet, so the member uh, may be sparsely distributed around the world you know, or onto, on the internet. And uh, not for the broadcasting, but for the interactive co conversation. Uh, it's just like uh, IRC communication, but uh, the signal uh, exchanging among the member is not the character, but the uh, uh, continuous audio and the video screen. So, and uh, uh, our target is uh, as, as well uh, focused on the uh, very cheap and the easy to start uh, system. And cost must be uh, cheaper and effective, and the bandwidth must become rich. It's because uh, uh, we need a uh, rich uh, audio and video signals. So, uh, for that purpose, we introduce XCAS instead of the existing multicast. And uh, I will explain why alternative multicast is needed, necessary. For such a small group communication, the uh, requirement appears to player three a friend of the internet. So uh, there is a lot of number of the participants and that's organized a lot of a huge number of the small group. So that's made a very big impact for the layer three friend. Uh, especially on the routing tables. And uh, uh, I will explain it later. And uh, another uh, very special point is anybody can transmit from anywhere on the internet. So, uh, recently, for the uh, last day of the month, NTT uh, East and the NTT West, that the MG and Next Generation Network, and uh, they include the uh, multicast system, but the transmitter is uh, fixed on the several point of the network. So uh, that's a very uh, weak point of the existing uh, multicast scheme, I think. And uh, uh, I will explain why such kind of system is uh, necessary for the existing materials. So this is fantastic. And uh, uh, yes, very briefly explained, uh, multicast is transmitter sending a very uh, conceptual uh, address, the member are multicast group address. 
uh, just transmit uh, for the network. Then uh, network <laughs> must have the uh, information where the listener is located. And this kind of information is not uh, 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 stored the uh, set of the receiver, but uh, stored as a, a direction for the routing information onto the routing, uh, routing cable. And to maintain such kind of the uh, tree information and graph information, it's very difficult. Uh, di uh, difficult. And how, how many uh, operate this kind of multicast tree in the uh, actual uh, internet? No one? Yes, I think so. That's because there is no, <laughs> no, no multicast tree uh, here in the internet. I, I believe that. <laughs> Transmitter. Then the multicast tree is different uh, from this distribution tree and this distribution tree. So, uh, uh, yes, this is a uh, very good analysis how many multicast status must maintain the intermediate routers. So, we uh, said that uh, this is a very uh, famous uh, multicast routing information mechanism in sparse board. And that must maintain the uh, order, the number of groups, and num times number of servers. That's uh, exactly equal to the uh, uh, number of transmitters. So uh, potentially, uh, I think the transmitter can be a uh, uh, hundred million or the one million, uh, one billion up to, I think, and. Uh, uh, make situation much more worse. All uh, receiver uh, periodically update the status, the multicast status, to transmit a join and prove message for the uh, direct connected routers. And uh, this kind of join and prove message uh, is exchanged all over the internet. And uh, uh, make the router CPUs very busy, and uh, sometimes uh, very old type of the CPU uh, routers easily hung up. So the existing type of broadcast is broadcast live. Uh, uh, we uh, make a definition in, uh, in our experimental RFC. So, uh, for such kind of purpose, the existing multicast scheme is very fit for the broadcast type and, and NTT East and NTT West uh, start to uh, transmit their uh, digital TV programs on this uh, mechanism, but they cannot 
we believe they cannot uh, support this type of narrow cast drive communication, one to many. That's uh, necessary to realize both kind of the conversation and the IP presence and video conference and the real time games. So that's why we are proposing the uh, alternative type of the uh, data graph delivery system. The name is explicit multicast. And uh, this is a title of the experimental RFC. And we described in this document the reason of the smooth communication is necessary and what's the problem uh, when uh, supporting this kind of small group by the existing uh, approaches. So uh, we, we uh, propose the conceptual idea. Uh, it's very uh, simple and basic. Uh, embed the uh, explicit list of multiple unicast addresses into the data graph. And uh, we also uh, describe about the brief mechanism to realize the that concept with a simple option header without any uh, drastic change of the existing unicast basis of the internet. And uh, uh, we have uh, options for IPv4 and also uh, IPv6. And this is the basic idea. And here is a list of unicast destinations. That means from Tokyo, uh, this PC wants to uh, deliver one data graph toward uh, Los Angeles and New York and London. Then, send a compose the data graph with a list of distinction A, B, C. Then, intermediate router check the unicast routing table and uh, for each direction, uh, the data graph must be reached. Then, uh, easy calculate the uh, next newer uh, list of destination and branch and four like that. Very simple. Then, uh, it's very clear to get the. Uh, this advantage, the XCAS can be delivered using only unicast routing infrastructure. Uh, it's not necessary to prepare the special infrastructure for their uh, multicast only, uh, like a PIM SM or PIM SSM or some kind. So uh, whenever unicast reaches, uh, you can use the XCAS 6 everywhere you want. And uh, so there is a, a no cost to uh, order uh, like uh, existing multicast uh, wants and needs. And uh, this is a very special point. Uh, to uh, trans to, to forward the XCAST data ground, uh, router use uh, uh, only a unicast table. So uh, there is no special uh, routing status of the router. So the scalability of the uh, number of group is ultra scalable. And this advantage is uh, so MTU of the data graph is limited. So with the uh, uh, ordinary uh, Ethernet MTU, uh, so actual limit, uh, the limitation is, uh, I think, uh, 50 or 60 with uh, uh, 1,024 octet of the video payload. And uh, another uh, trick uh, is uh, how to uh, tra uh, transfer the XCAS data graph onto the non uh, XCAS supporting routers. That's a very uh, difficult point. So
So uh, uh, using the uh, embedded IPv6 mechanism, that uh, is a uh, open has the type of the option value uh, prefix has a, if the uh, option prefix has a zero zero, uh, that means they ignore the this option and afterwards information and just forward the routers uh, uh, just like uh, ordinary unicast destination. And here is a temporal destination, the transmitter embed. Then from original uh, transmitter, once the XCAST delivery problem to Los Angeles without any branches and the forward mechanism in this router. Then the Los Angeles uh, on Los Angeles has discussed aware node is located and they, uh, he is he knows uh, how to uh, treat this kind of XCAST data. Mm -hmm. Then the data chain type reachability is exist from Tokyo to London. So, uh, very limited, and but uh, very uh, concrete uh, transmission path uh, from Tokyo to London is uh, exist only using the uh, existing unicast infrastructure. That's a very good point of existence. So, to get the XCAS 6 for connectivity, we can use all tools to have uh, IPv6 ground reachability. And maybe switches, and Ethernet is, routers, and uh, uh, various kind of BSD has a very rich uh, tools to uh, make a connectivity for the IPv6 router like this. So, Meaning is uh, provided by the design, I think. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, I believe BSD is the best platform to create yeah. this experiment nowadays. So, I explain about the communities and the activities. And here is the communities uh, who get involved in the XCAST activities. Um, so, uh, this, this activity is promoted mainly by White Project. Uh, White Project have an extant working group in it. And they're promoting this extant working group, a several type of the, many type of the uh, communities collaborating. And one is the standard communities. Uh, IRTF has a, a scalable analytic multicast research group, and uh, in this area, uh, many kind of uh, researchers and operators is involved. And this is another area of the collaborators, and that's the person who sitting here, I think. So uh, there, there is various uh, area of the BSD user group from Nagoya and the Hokkaido and Shizuoka Yokohama does as well as uh, where are you from? German. German. So uh, I want to append the German. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, who make uh, our experimental network and uh, make uh, collaborate to operate some kind of the experimental network? Um, yes, uh, with this kind of researchers and the developers. So, uh, at first, so, uh, so it told you said, uh, not uh, spectre code, but the code that spec. Yes, uh, we uh, make a, a similar uh, way to uh, in, uh, realize the XCAST uh, systems. Uh, our experimental RFC is just uh, describes a very basic idea of it and uh, make a learning first. So, my project at, the, at, at 
very beginning of this, uh, this project, a uh, white project uh, make an initial call, but it soon transferred for the XCAS Ampla community. That's uh, the, one of the, uh, the person is uh, Ume san and uh, that is ha Hamachima san of the Nagoya ABSD user group, uh, who maintain the various version of the NetBSD and FreeBSD. And on to this uh, OS implementation, uh, we implement the video conference in the, the lowest order to use. That's from the Embon community. And uh, the similar uh, structure is constructed uh, to the Linux uh, communities uh, with the white project to Sagi uh, people's uh, is uh, hardly involved in this kind of community. And using this implementation, we make uh, experimental network. Basically, it's uh, connected by the uh, existing IPv4 connectivity. And uh, this one is a tunnel with six tunnel over V4. But uh, this is start 4G uh, networks and distributing the uh, very not a very large uh, today, but uh, uh, so, so so large uh, prefix for each BSD uh, user group and protocol users group. And this is a backdrop to uh, make an uh, audiovisual chat and many kind of events. So uh, uh, this is a uh, the graphic uh, I first read show in this presentation that uh, this is a video image of the wedding ceremony of the Namoya. So <laughs> uh, many people, but no, it's not different. <laughs> so uh, I, I made, uh, I, I invented a different graphic image. So it's not a ceremony. <laughs> uh, it's just a drinking party, no <laughs> a distributed uh, no, uh, drinking party uh, all over the Japan. So, uh, yes, uh, Oshima san is drinking in your room yes. in, this, in this situation. So, and here is Akihabara uh, and many, how many? is sitting in this Akihabara Izakaya. <laughs> no one, no one. <laughs> and then Shizuoka, Nagoya, and the many places. And as well as such kind of very casual type of the drinking party connect, commun, uh, connected by the internet, uh, we will make, uh, we did make a uh, uh, yes, wedding ceremony. Mizuno-san, yes. And that's very funny uh, experience for me. So, uh, I will talk later, if you need to. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so, this is the main part of the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will explain the very detailed mechanism of the uh, BSD of the x -cast. so, but it's so simple, so, so simple. The, the, uh, the amount of the touches is very small. Just 3,000 kilo line is touched to the uh, net island structure. And uh, that, uh, that is, uh, composed by the three parts mainly. One is how uh, the way to communicate with the uh, user interface, uh, user processes, and the second is uh, how to uh, look and forward the XCAS six datagrams, and third is uh, special uh, suit devices.
to uh, handle the XDAST uh, encapsulation. So, the first is the interface between the user uh, process and uh, the kernel spaces. So basically, with XDAST, uh, we do nothing. Just uh, the eliminate the code to reject the XCAST type of the data. That's because the low uh, XCAST data graph has a newer type of the rounding header. It's not defined on the cover code. So, such kind of uh, data graph is rejected by the sanity check or some kind of. So, we make a routine call to uh, to uh, hunt all such kind of low x plus six data graph or uh, lower uh, lower protocol module, and that is uh, uh, that is uh, yes uh, routing uh, routing module of the x plus uh, no, no, and the low x plus data graph has a very uh, special, uh, special multi-cast address. That name is all the XCAS6 node. Uh, that's defined the uh, IANA uh, experimental range of the multi-cast. Then that has a uh, routing entry for XCST uh, special devices. That's explain, uh, I will explain afterward. So, the sender size um, send message uh, if you use a process uh, transmit with the send messages and just come to the routing mechanism of the unicast uh, forwarding modules and uh, forward it to the X, uh, XCSD special device. That's a way. And better to compose the low XCAS data graph is a uh, very uh, complicated work for the uh, simple uh, application developer. So we prepared the live XCAS that help application to pack the list of UCAS destination uh, to the XCAS 6, low XCAS 6 data components. That's the uh, the sender side user interface modules. And in contrast, uh, at on the receiver side, there is completely no uh, modification. That's because uh, XCAS data graph is treated completely as a pure unicast data graph. So, uh, original uh, net inet module uh, uh, recognize the uh, XCAS data graph, so uh, we, I have to uh, handle this data graph as uh, I receive. That's because a list of destination embed uh, include our records or some kind of. So the uh, Use a program that just receive from socket inputs. That's an ordinary one. No modification for the list, uh, leave C or leave socket. And our routing header processing and branch of work. So, uh, as I said, the list of destination is embedded in the XCAS data ground. And here is a routing uh, tables on the uh, routing nodes, and for each destination unicast address, my routing table, using routing table, this router can uh, make a calculation of uh, which is the destination, next top destination. Then, router just uh, update the feed map with the uh, uh, list of destination in the routing header, I'll just go up. And all of, uh, all, uh, almost part of this branch and forward mechanism uh, is uh, already included in the net structure. So uh, we 
we utilize such kind of existing functionalities. So it's uh, why the XCAST module is so simple. And the last of the uh, mechanism, uh, we introduced the XCST network interface. That the uh, device to picking up the XCAST target uh, from the tunneling uh, interface, uh, tunneling structure. And with this interface, uh, changes for the existing IPv6 implementation is localized and very simplified. At the center side, uh, using the UTIs in the native table, and that's explained uh, the previous slide. So uh, in the login table, this address is embedded, and the uh, HCSD interface is the next hop interface uh, in, uh, defined in the login table. So HCSD interface get the outgoing XCAS datagram. Then uh, that start to analyze the physical destination in the special routing table, uh, routing headers. So uh, existing INET 6 uh, code, uh, we, can, we cannot modify uh, any modification of the ex existing uh, INET 6, just append the routing information. And uh, at the receiving side, we use uh, uh, IP NCAP ratio, uh, IP NCAP C. Uh, that's uh, provide the general uh, tunneling uh, providing mechanism. And we just uh, prepare the NCAP functions of this uh, XCSD interface. And register in this uh, interface structures of the IP and capstation to C just like a GIF and GRE. So that was the uh, main point of this presentation. You satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too much simple. So, clearly, uh, 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 my explanation is uh, worse than just reading the part code of the XCAS. It's a very good mechanism and understand uh, how the XCAS packages works. I so, this is a conclusion. So XCAST is an alternative way for smooth group multicast. It's very useful for the private communication. And uh, we uh, consider we must, uh, the modification is uh, smallest, is better. So I uh, utilize the XCAST, uh, existing unicast base of the internet. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's more and more, and uh, it's ultra scale with respect to the number of the market group of the internet. So it's different point of the existing uh, multicast, group address multicast. And uh, it's able to implement it with the simple logics. And those characteristics as the experimental code. That means, so we can make a uh, very simple and good and stable implementation on the various uh, BSD, and as well as Linux. And uh, uh, some person make a uh, uh, implementation on the uh, Windows XP or some kind of uh, the commercial operating system I, I heard. And uh, yes, using this implementation, we make a very, very stable, so-so stable operation <laughs> of the intercontinental 
uh, district of the IPv6 specialized for the x 6 And uh, using this uh, desktop network, uh, we have hold many representative and including the other time parties and the wedding ceremonies and the just chatting on the ground. Yeah. And this is the for future work. So we load the conceptual RFC at the starting point. And uh, so issuing this experimental RFC we discussed with the very hard of the IETF, Internet Engineering Steering Group, IESG, considered and uh, recorded the comments and questions for this RFC officially, and they said that's a variable to consider and to prove the current multicast problems. So, and uh, at the conclusion, uh, ISG and IAB suggest that uh, we must make more researches and, uh, uh, to realize the application area of the small group to exchange the data gram transfer system. So that's a uh, that's ignite newer uh, research activities. Uh, we have a uh, scalable adaptive multicast research group in IRTF. That's uh, last year? No. Two years. Two years. Yes. Two years ago. And uh, the goal of the scalable adaptive multicast research group is investigating multicast protocol, including the, not the uh, existing multicast or uh, XCast, but also with the uh, uh, overlay multicast and application layer multicast, and the hybrid techniques is necessary they consider. And uh, using this kind of technology, uh, it's necessary and important and uh, it's possible to achieve the greater scalability and adaptivity for the uh, multicast uh, communication. And here is a URL. Oops. And this is another activity in uh, some uh, research group and for, um, that uh, initiated and promoted by the uh, So the combination of the application 
player and the lower RPS player is uh, RPS. How to make a very good marriage of this uh, combination is very important for, for the uh, all of the scalable adaptive adjust system. So, uh, some DK is uh, the gathering place to uh, make a very good marriage of the protocols and application and we need. And that is QT based and run, already running on the Windows XP and Mac OS 10 and Linux. And but it's very sad to notice on the BSD components. So BSD is ongoing for it's not on BSD. Oh, it works. Oh, it works. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> BSD is the version of the some TK is already working. So, so uh, visit this URL to uh, if you interested in this work. Okay. And here is a uh, very abstract diagram for some TKs, and here is a some application and uh, a summary application. Uh, use the group interface and uh, that's a so I have I want to uh, join to the casual interface with the no sound no 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 <laughs> or uh, some kind of and uh, uh, the background transmission is once uh, trans uh, hand, handed to some TK core modules and some TK core modules choose uh, pre adaptively or lower uh, transport, uh, transport protocols or the uh, layer 3 protocols like XCast and uh, Multicast and over networks as well. So this is a very
more talking here at 3 o'clock in about five minutes. Go for it.